Hello my crafting friends, I'm coming today with a project share and so what you're looking at is a wedding card I made and a altered soap dispenser and um, Sunday a friend of mine was asking if I had seen a soap dispenser in another of our friends um, bathroom that was like a mason jar and um, she liked it and so when I was at my local craft warehouse picking up something and looking around because I had a gift card from my daughter for my birthday I found these um, kits that came with the top so you can change a mason jar into a soap dispenser lotion dispenser hand sanitizer whatever you want so I picked up one and picked up the mason jar and made this for my friend so I painted the very top with a Valspar um, paint that I got at Lowe's a cream color and then I added this beautiful rosette trim that had been in my hoard vault for a long time and I got it from Cynthia the Scrappy Bookworm one about a year or so ago and then I added all along the jar here this burlap trim that is in the $1.50 bin at Michaels and then I cut out one of the tiny rosettes from that trim from Cynthia and put it on the back of a Colorbot crochet flower and the center is a bling piece from Dollarama that I got from a Canadian friend of mine and then this here is a Prima flower this beautiful cameo came from Kim Nuya in a swap we did um, a altered bag I think it was swap and we had like three partners and three people that we sent to for um, Valentine's Day and then I put another one of those color box crochet flowers here with a Prima flower on top so I really like um, how it came out her bathrooms are real neutral colors and I thought this really really light peach was just kind of pretty neutral and just something to kind of accent with just a tiny bit of color but her bathroom is um, beiges and creams whites so I hope she likes her altered um, soap dispenser and then I um, created a card and I forgot to um, bring the die out but this is a die that I got at one of my local craft stores that's the Karen Bernstein um, accordion oval card die and it's a it's not a pop-up I don't pop it up maybe it is I don't know anyway so I cut three of them out and um, so then I took and I cut out um, the die again in this yellow check paper and I used my um, new greeting farm um, stamp set my sunshine for the little boy and the little um, girl so I thought that was really cute and then I added a little heart that I got from Fernley Designs and then the wood corners here are also from Fernley Designs so really pretty and then um, the center their wedding colors are were blue navy blue and yellow so the center one I did um, in navy blue with um, the circle being um, a, a yellow and I used a SP and Company stamp set to do the banner and the congratulations and then this wedding cake was a, um, a spellbinder stamp and die set that I had won in um, a giveaway and so I colored it up in the yellows that was what their wedding cake looked like it was a gradient yellow color and then I added all of these beautiful wood hearts from Fernley Designs and so I'll put my little message um, right here to the wedding couple and um, it was um, a little complicated to figure out how to put um, this die together but I really like the effects of it and you could just do two of them you could put together five of them six of them you know however um, you want but she does Karen Bernstein does have a um, video on her YouTube channel um, helping you learn how to use these dies and put them together she's working now with um, she used to be partnered with Sizzix but now she's working with um, Elizabeth crafts and so she has um, dies that easily you can make pop-up cards and I can't remember what she calls her other die but you can take any card and make it like a um, 
kind of a swivel like there's a butterfly that pivots or a heart so anyway thank you ladies um, for watching and I hope um, my projects gave you some inspiration so thank you again for watching and happy crafting